Hi, this is Mike Elder, and this is my wife, Bernie. And we're here at Ronald McDonald House today, sort of telling our story about why we're here. I guess you could say it started about almost 10 years ago when we lost our son, Chris, in an accident. Uh, since he grew up, my wife collected uh, the Walt Disney classic videos with full knowledge that when he had grand she had grandchildren that uh, she would be able to sit on the couch and enjoy those movies with her grandkids and of course that never happened. So after she became a flight attendant with Southwest Airlines, she said, I don't know what I'm going to do with these videos. I just don't know what I'm going to do with these videos. And one day we were watching the reality show called Airline and there stood Captain Dick East who was telling all about Ronald McDonald House and what they did here and so on and she jumped up out of her chair. She was just home from Baltimore and she said, I know exactly what we're going to do with those videos. And she wrote Captain East a letter and within about three days she received a phone call, not a return letter, from him and he said, we'll be happy to take the videos at Ronald McDonald House in Houston. She said, give me an address, I'll put them in a box and send them. He said, no, you don't understand. You're going to bring them down and give them to us on the second Tuesday of next month. And that's what we did. I brought two of my friends down and we brought the videos. And my, my idea of coming to our Ronald McDonald house was going to be very sober and somber. And when I walked into that back door, I could not believe uh, what was happening in the kitchen here with all these Southwest Airlines employees. We're talking about provisioners, ramps, flight attendants, pilots. Uh, everyone was cooking and having a good time and, and there was music and there was joy with all the children. They were having so much fun with this group and I just kept thinking this is just not what I was expecting. So it was a really good visit and um, got ready to leave. And I thanked Dick for, for letting us come down. And he said, why don't you come next month? And I said, well, you don't understand. I'm based in Baltimore. I live up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And he said, Bernie, Southwest Airlines has a flight every 30 minutes between Dallas and Houston. You need to come. And so I did. And I came for a couple of months. And we, um, Dick and I would talk about our children. We had a common ground there, uh, having both lost children, and we talked about, um, my son was in uh, the band, and I had children, we should, we should say, we should have children at, at our home all the time, and every weekend, every weekend. and uh, cooking, and one of their favorite things were these uh, oatmeal cookies that my, my mama uh, would always make, so uh, we decided we would start making those here, and I did that for a couple of months. And then I told Mike, I said, why don't you come with me? I did. He did. And uh, we learned two things out of this whole thing. You can't say no to your wife, and you sure as heck can't say no to Dickies. You just don't. You just don't and, say no. He won't take no for an answer. It's family here. This is our family. It's These people, family. yeah, on this Southwest cooking team are part of our family. And, and this is a healing for Mike and I. Chris was our only child, and he was an organ donor. We see that come full circle here. We have gotten to hold some of the babies that have gotten organ transplants and that will have an opportunity to have hopefully a full line. So it's a blessing for us. Sure. It's tough, but it's a blessing for us. Also, we're thankful yeah. to be here.